Hey YouTube, how you doing? Destroyer here, bringing you another video for Heroes of Order and Chaos. And today I'm bringing you the end game build for Kortav. Kortav is awesome. Bloodletting hero means he makes people bleed and rip. As his saying goes, I'll rip their hearts out. So, anyways, uh, Kortov is awesome because he has a lot of these different skills that give him decoys and uh, we'll get on on his build what makes him good I believe so the first thing I typically buy with him because you start out with a thousand I buy two squires patience now this you know allows me to have that little bit of damage and be more survivable after that I'll buy some boots of haste and I'll buy a serpentine pipe the Serpentine Pike is just going to give me that extra damage for when I get behind and use my second skill to, to hurt him, uh, hurt that person drastically. After this, I'm going to upgrade that Serpentine Pike into the Ripper. Now, this is going to increase my bleeding damage uh, with uh, my third skill, so it's going to increase the heal as well. After that, I'm going to go ahead and buy a Face Breaker. And probably another uh, Serpentine Pike. And we're going to increase both of these into a, a Longbow to maximize our piercing damage with him. Plus, it's going to help us a lot with our physical attack. Now, after I build the Longbow, usually I s like to start building... Um, I like to start building some attack speed so I'll go ahead and buy some wings and after I buy the the wings I typically finish off my boots into boots of savage after this I will sell my squires patience I'll sell my squires patience and go ahead and buy another face breaker. After I buy this face breaker, I'm going to increase it into a silver spear. And uh, the silver spear, I do this to increase my piercing. And then I go ahead and buy into an arcane cutlass. Now, I want y'all to understand this right here. Uh, you can buy the arcane cutlass first, or you can. Uh, but you, okay, you have to buy the, the Wings of Paradise, which is going to be more effective with Kortov. After you buy that, you can go ahead and start building this other item I'm going to start building into. So, you go ahead and buy the Arcane Saber. And after you buy the Arcane Saber, we're going to sell these squires. We're going to go ahead and buy it into the Divinity Sword. And the reason we're going to uh, build into this Divinity Sword is because it gives us that ability to stun uh, once every second. This works with the uh, wings we just bought. Also, another big reason I buy this is because of the harvest HP. Now, you don't need a crazy amount of attack speed like the Watcher's Whisper with Kortov because he's more of a support carry. This is why uh, this build is going to typically work better for him. Now, all you need after this is typically uh, what would go best. It depends if you're controlling the game right here, your team is, or if y'all aren't doing so well. And you know Kortov is more of a fives character. So, uh, typically I go ahead and buy a Monitor's Mask to go ahead and maximize my defense because I'm fighting against you know those type of heroes after that I'll buy a Hades now you don't have to buy a Hades you can maximize health with Kortov and the item I recommend for that would be the steering souls of dragon now some people ask me why don't you suggest uh, magical defense well I don't really care much about magical defense with Kortov because he can use his first skill and his ulti to kind of negate all or most of uh, magic skills except for AOE damage. But, I mean, 
by that time, usually he can get in and get the kill from the front on the mages. So at here, you, you want to maximize your damage after you buy an armor item. We want to go ahead and sell this ripper and maximize our, our attack as much as possible. So we're going to come in here and buy an iron claymore and go ahead and upgrade that into the king killer. Now this is my last build. Make sure you buy that ripper first because that ripper will help you a lot in the beginning. Uh, also, if you're still having trouble here and you need to be a little bit more tanky, also will need some attack, go ahead and sell these boots and buy that steering souls. So guys, tell me what you think about this build. Uh, you know, shoot me a comment, like and subscribe like always. I'll have the tablets right after this and I'll have the talents that I use down in the description. Thanks for watching as always and I'll see y'all destroy out of here. Hey guys, how you doing? Destroyer here. want to quickly go over some tablets that I suggest for Core Top or Blood Letter. So, uh, I like playing them more as a support carry as y'all just, as I just told y'all in the end game build. So, here's some of the tablets I suggest. First off, let's go over Inscriptions. And the Inscriptions I recommend, because he is a full fighter, I recommend um, Physical Attack Inscriptions as well as extra critical damage inscriptions. This will just help Kortov be, you know, better of a, a extreme carry and do that extra damage that you're gonna need when he uses his skills and from his basic attack. So the first tablet I recommend is the Tablet of Desire. You know, this is gonna increase that physical attack uh, tremendously and is good for Kortov. Uh, also, I would like you to use the Tablet of Bloodlust. This will work better if you're in team fights, because you know you will be targeted, and this will just help help you to do better and do that extra damage that you need to up to the 27 percent that I was talking about before. Also, I recommend the Tablet of Assistance. Now, a couple other tablets that I suggest for Kortov. I know he's not that tanky, but Sometimes you can switch out this Tablet of Desire as well because Kortov is not tanky at all and can go down pretty quickly. So the Tablet of Jaguar is pretty good because when he's coming in and out of those clouds, it can give him that extra push that's needed. Now if you want to go uh, with a little something more tanky, I uh, suggest... Uh, well, we'll get to that tablet in one second. I suggest uh, this tablet right here, the Tablet of Desecration. This will just increase his attack. He's very good at getting, you know, last hits and stuff. Now, the next one I suggest is called uh, the Ruthless Tablet. And the reason I like this tablet a lot with him is because of his second skill. You know, you can get in there and get behind them. Now, when their health is below that 20%, especially on tanks, this could tremendously help with that critical extra damage, especially with the inscriptions you have of the extra critical damage as well. So, guys, tell me what you think about the build. Try it out. Uh, tell me if you suggest or recommend any tablets. Write them down below. I'd love for you to hear from you. And like always, I'll see you out in the Battle of Herodon. Shoot me a like, shoot me a subscribe if you like it. See y'all later.